Okay, hello everyone. Um, another little video from myself. Um, just another little knife that I picked up a while back. Um, really nice little knife. Beautiful leather sheath. I, I don't know what brand it is. Um, it's like a little, like a Finnish Poco design. I think you would describe it as. Uh, nice antler handle. Nice little sheath. Really tight fit in the sheath. Just has a... I think it's a high carbon blade. Just a very sharp blade. It's only... It's just under two and a half inch. Um, which I do like personally for, for bushcraft. I, I find you... Well, personally I don't need a big blade. You know, you can make do with a small blade like that. Um, relatively thick, it's thick enough to you know, thick enough for bushcraft definitely it's about uh, probably two and a half mil down the spine of the blade there um, the grind in it, it's kind of a scandy grind but it's got this little secondary bevel running down the edge, you can just about pick it up on the camera there um, which isn't great it, I bought it sort of a bit of an impulse buy to be honest I saw it and I liked it it is a beautiful little knife uh, curly birch handle um, with bone and leather and a, a nice piece of brass on there um, so yeah a nice looking knife but I, I've not had an awful lot of use out of it so I thought what I'd do instead of keeping it as it is I'll, I'll alter it a little bit just to make it more suitable for, for what I want to use it for uh, first of all, I might drop the point. Um, I'm not a big fan of the of the straight back on the blade, so I might drop the point just a little bit. Just take the take the point down a little bit, either with a file, or you could very carefully grind it off. Trouble is, you don't want to heat the steel up when you're grinding; it'll just lose the temper. So, if you grind and just do it very carefully, make sure you keep it cool. Um, the only other thing I'm thinking of doing at the moment is uh, where the blade meets the handle and uh, this section uh, sort of that section there it goes straight into the handle and you can't really sharpen up to there effectively so you just kind of have a little dull piece of blade right near the handle um, so I'll just take a little bit of metal out of there just with a, with a very small file um, just to finish it off really it's, it's a nice knife but it could have been better finished um, didn't pay a fortune for it um, so yeah it's a nice knife but for me needs a little bit of work so I'll um, I'll do this work tonight and hopefully put up another video just a little follow up video and um, just see how I get on so yeah so that's it, so I'll catch you later.